Hi everyone, this one it's so different because I'm in love with it. Come on, let me show you. You see, finally, we have white water in sub level. All that coming up. Hi everyone, this is Daizen. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, of course, I want to take you straight away to achieve decent white water or foam in Houdini 20 in simple yet clever way without confusing you with a lot of weird parameters out there. With that, you see, I achieved this stunning, peaceful simulation. You see, I love it. Okay, in this video, I want to show you the setup of the Whitewater and the Splashy Flip Solver and in the Patreon version of course we're gonna render that with Karma With that, if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content Let's begin Okay, let's build the splash water using this awesome flip configure node. This will give us a, a necessary node to have a decent flip. Of course, for more detail about flip solver in sub level, you can see this video here. Okay, now we have this. Let's uh, delete that. We know we don't need that. The boundary, aka the source, and of course viscosity. Uh, we don't need that and the CD color okay now let's adjust the flip container cool and yeah as you can see we don't have any water here that's why we need to enable this water line you see that will give us a decent uh, water to the container as, as you can see and of course you can adjust the origin uh, uh, and uh, this flip boundary as you can see to clip that and yeah that's good for now and of course uh, we don't need this ground plane yeah because we have this container and let's play let's see what we have in here okay we don't have any movement you see let's go to the flip solver and let's for example have a pop force with a uh, some noises of course and yeah we have something in here okay we seek splashy water so for that of course let's have a flip collide i want to have a, for example uh, an object to interact with this uh, flip container for example this cylinder or tube in houdini and you can have any object you like but yeah for this demonstration i will go with that and yeah we have some collision here of course and yeah that's good and for example if you have more splashy water you can decrease uh, this one of course and let's change that to splashy water and receding enable and of course we need this one i want to see the particle clearly and let's uh, enable that you see i found this a uh, simple yet effective uh, setting to have a decent water simulation in flip houdini of course you can uh, decrease this surface velocity to have uh, more velocity to the moving object which is not my case and let's decrease this particle simulation to have more quality and let's see what we got in here okay as you can see we have this crazy splashy water and this is good honestly but let's carry on okay let's go to the flip solver i want an interesting move let me show you in this direction for example okay you see in this direction let's disable the this pop force and the first note came to mind it's pop spin spin sorry and as you can see this note 
each pop spin it will uh, spin the particle but it will not give that uh, movement i want so let's delete that the second note came to mind is pop turk as you can see this is as the icon shown here it will give us the nice movement but you see nothing happened okay after a lot of research i come up with this pop axis force you see <laughs> this was the answer as you can see we have this bounding box as a sphere and let's adjust that sorry the radius here you see that and we have this uh, speed and as you can see we have something but let's decrease that okay it's there trust me i want to show you and i want to combine that with the pop force with uh, uh, decent noises here and let's see what we got as you can see we have a movement but it's so slow let's uh, increase particle separation uh, for the sake of this demonstration to have more speed here with the calculation and you see we have something okay that's the movement i wanted yeah that's an awesome okay we're gonna see some setting here let me show you if we decrease this swirl size uh, we're gonna have a larger wave here as you can see okay this is the pop force it's so important in this kind of movement you see that let's decrease that for example and let's play you see we have now small wave here that's awesome okay this is the of course the swirl size of course the height of the wave it's controlled by this uh, amplitude of the pop force you see that we have <laughs> more crazy wave here with this awesome splashy particle but let's decrease that for a reasonable value here and yeah let's play and see what we got let's adjust the particle and let's have a flip uh, book here as you can see yeah we have something so that's not bad and let me adjust something in here for example let's make it four and this five and let's have a flip book again and boom okay we have something you see the wave it's uh, larger here and yeah with that i want to choose this one of course we have a flip com compressor for compressing the uh, cache or pack the particle and let's cache this flip solver and you see the cache is done of course now let's go to the flip uh, particle flip uh, surface and let's change that for particle for now and i want to show you and let's have flip book as you can see that's the awesome simulation we're gonna continue with okay now let's uh, talk about a uh, particle fluid surface a little bit in here if we change uh, the mode or export to the polygon as you can see we have this awesome wavy geometry and this influence scale will determine the smoothness of uh, this surface if we decrease that of course we're gonna have sharper uh, geometry as you can see and if we increase that we're gonna have smoother uh, and not detailed uh, mesh as you can see and this uh, is awesome and worth to mention here of course you can change the voxel size here and you're gonna have an awesome mesh with this awesome particle fluid surface without go to going to the VDB workflow uh, which I got before okay white water you see white water is simple to use in houdini uh, it's have white water source it's like flip boundary or flip container and it's have 
uh, white water solver like flip solver you see this two node is so important and of course we have white water post processing that uh, we're going to use uh, later on in this video and yeah with that let's begin now let's begin with the white water setup here as you can see i changed the flip particle flip surface to the particle for now and now we have this awesome white water in fluid rather than flip why is that i don't know but in fluid we have this white water node called white water source and this white water uh, solver but we have this white water configuration uh, will uh, give us this awesome setup here as you can see and let's connect that to the cache sorry La okay that's to the cache this is to the container of the fluid compress and this one in here to the collision and of course let's begin with this white source white water source sorry this node is of course so straightforward will give us the a source as a vdb and of course we have this uh, voxel size and of course let me show you with this volume uh, visualize node here and as you can see we don't have any density because rather than that we have this emit field and this the velocity and let's select the emit and let's decrease that you see we have this uh, uh, vdb as a source you see that okay and of course you can uh, decrease that which is <laughs> not going to do anything and in here of course we have the speed range you can determine uh, which particle with uh, which speed can have a white water you see if you in increase or decrease that we're gonna impact the uh, amount of white water but i found the default setting is good and yeah with that i remain that on touch you see that okay and that's with the uh, white water source now let's go in here in white water solver this is an awesome solver here uh, and i want to show you here as you can see we have this voxel size and white water scale of course uh, the genius is recommended it will have uh, the voxel size will have twice uh, value of the white water scale so for that let me change that okay for that i want to connect that to this and multiply by two and as you can see the voxel size are uh, double of uh, white water scale and this is an awesome for now and yeah let's let's have a, a cache and see what we got in here okay let's fast forward as you can see we have something the particle you see that and we have this awesome white word uh, post process you can have this particle or the result as a vdb or the particle and for the vdb let let me visualize that we have density now in here and you see that we we can have that as a vdb uh, like smoke or density or as a particle that's uh, up to you of course and let's merge these guys together and yeah you see i want to show you the overall workflow for now but uh, later on we're going to dive in in more detail as you can see we need to decrease or increase the resolution for that let's go to the uh, white water solver and let me disable this uh, cache in here sorry okay let's decrease white water scale now you see that and let's cache that again and boom we have more particle as you can see with this awesome parameter and yeah let me have a flip book and boom okay we have this flip book with this white water you see that wow that's an awesome i wait for this one for a long long time so uh, now let's carry on with this base advection you see we have this awesome parameter of course we have life 
Spawn, of course, this is uh, will determine the life or age of the particle. And we have this awesome base advection. You see, if we increase that, it will uh, tell the particle to follow up with this uh, wave or movement of the uh, flip solver. And let me show you what I mean by that. You see that we have the before and after. And of course, the right one is the new one with base advection. You see that it's following this uh, wave uh, more here. You see, that's an awesome uh, option we have. OK. You see, if we have this reference of white uh, water or the foam, you see they, they are uh, following the surface, of course. OK, this is the base. Uh, advection. Now we have this awesome option called erosion. Erosion. I don't know how how can I pronounce that. You see, this option will uh, delete the lonely particle. And yeah, let's enable that and let's take a look for this future size. This is an awesome one for this. Uh, sorry, let me show you this uh, foam have a circle or have a volume. And uh, I want to decrease that to have this circular or uh, this awesome volume of the foam. You see that? And let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, let's uh, decrease this. Sorry. You see that? We have this one. And let's decrease that. Okay, and this one maybe that okay let's have a, a flip book or catch that and let me show you the result you see that there before and after this right one each have more circularly an awesome uh, shape here and you see wow that's an awesome option you see that i found these two options are so uh, uh, so so effective for having a decent white water as you can see this future size and erosion of course we have uh, eliminate this lonely particle a bit and yeah with this base advection and of course future size uh, you can have an awesome uh, white water of course now we have our white water in order to uh, use that in a karma renderer particularly of course i want to go with vdb uh, export in this white water uh, post process and let's change the voxel size okay that's good and we have this awesome you see white water it will be awesome uh, in the final render which uh, I will talk about that in patreon and yeah this is uh, the VDB we are going to with uh, white water let's uh, create a null for that I want to uh, have a preparation to the karma renderer and we call that a VDB of course let's convert that to the VDB that's uh, necessary here and in this one, uh, instead of the particle, let's go to the surface polygon. I want to have a polygon shape. You see, let me calculate that. And you see we have dense uh, flip here. And yeah, now uh, let's file cache that. And yeah, that's with the flip water and of course all that it's available on my patreon and with that this is the result we're gonna have with karma renderer okay i see you in the next one goodbye